This is my new vlogging tripod. This is the Ulanzi MT43. And of course I didn't have enough patience to unbox it on camera, so I took it out already. So the box is empty. But before we're going out to test it, I just wanted to mention one thing. Ulanzi didn't send this to me. I paid full price on it. So everything that you're gonna see in this review are my honest thoughts. Okay, now we can go. What a shitty weather. Yesterday I took the snow off the car and now I need to take it off again. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this video outside as long as possible, but because it's like minus two degrees outside, at some point I'm probably going to go back in the studio. But now let's talk about the tripod. So right here we have like a magnesium alloy body with carbon fiber. Just one second so you can see. So this thing over here, just this thing, it's carbon fiber. So cool thing about this is when you're trying to use it like this, you have like a clicky knob over here. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like really, really satisfying. So if you want to lock the legs, you're just like rotating that knob and then you're like closing the legs. And then when you want to like use it again, like in vlog mode or whatever you wanna call it, then you're just like rotating the knob again and then you're bringing these things here and i don't know if you can see over here but you have rubber on every single leg so you have a better grip when you're having a camera on it i don't have a camera on it because i'm vlogging right now but when you're having a camera on it you have like a better grip when you're keeping it in your hand so that's one thing i know these things were like really like handy and they were like really cool and trendy at some point and the idea was good but i like something like this more because after a while these legs are starting to become like really really loose and then it's not keeping your camera in place and you're struggling to like set it up and then like film yourself so yeah this was a good idea but not anymore so that's why i went with this Alright, so other cool things about this tripod, you have like a panoramic head over here, so if you want to do like time lapses, you can like smoothly like change the direction of your video to the left or to the right. You have like a quick release plate over here and the cool part about the quick release plate is the fact that even if you're not like tightening enough, it's not gonna go anywhere because it has like a stopping mechanism, I'm gonna show you in a second, that looks like this. I don't know if you can see you have like these two knobs over here so when let's say you're not tightening it enough it's not gonna go anywhere because it's stopping in those like two knobs so that's another cool thing the fact that you can use this as a vlogging tripod and then if you want to have like an extra reach or let's say you don't have like a lens that's wide enough you can like extend it a little bit more and this is how it's going to look and now because it's really, really cold outside. I need to find another place to show you how I'm using this. So yeah, let's change the place. All right, so let me show you another cool thing about this tripod and how I'm using it. So when I'm not using like a wireless lab, like this one that I have over here, I'm using a microphone. So I'm just like mounting the microphone on it. So it's going to look something like this. Just give me a second because my hands are cold. So is looking like this and is really nice and cool and you're ready to vlog and when you're vlogging of course you have the microphone like pointed towards you but then when you're like changing the subject or you want to show anything else then the cool thing about this cold shoe mount is the fact that it's rotating even though even though it's tightening down apparently i can talk today so even though it's tightening down it's tightened down like i said i can't talk today so even though it's tightened down, you can like rotate it like this when you're talking and you're like with the camera pointing in another direction. And then when you're vlogging again, you can like do this and you're ready to talk again. So that's a cool thing. And now let me show you how I'm usually using it. So I'm using it in this like mode, whatever you want to call it, just because I'm vlogging on the ZV-1 and with the active stabilization and stuff like that, the lens is not that wide anymore. So you can use it just like that and you have like enough space to show around but if you're using like a full frame like setup with a 16 mil or something like that you can use it like this 
And the cool thing about that is the fact that even though you're thinking that is a heavier setup, Ulanzi says that this ball head can keep a payload up to 2.5 kilograms. So that's a cool thing. And I have an idea to check if this thing can really bear with 2.5 kilogram. So let's go in the house because I'm pretty cold and let's test it. All right, so now I'm back home and I was thinking about something that is going to appear like really, really funny, like in the beginning of the video, because it looks like I was staying outside for like two minutes. Let me like adjust this thing a little bit. So let me tell you something. I live in an area where it's like really, really crowded. And when you're not hearing people shouting, you hear a lot of cars. So just for you to know, I wasn't staying like two minutes outside. It was way, way more. But now let's get back to this thing. So Ulanzi said that this ball head can have like a payload on it up to 2.5 kilograms. So I have this crazy idea where I'm going to put not one, but two cameras on it. So the first camera that's gonna go on it is going to be the A7 III with the 24 to 70 f2.8 and the cage as you can very well see. So I'm gonna mount this thing down here and then we're gonna see how this thing is going to look. All right, now that this is like nice and tight over there, I'm gonna put it on the tripod over here. So this is how it's looking, like the setup, like the vlogging setup with a 24 to 70 and like a cage and an A7 III on this tripod. And let me tell you, this is like really, really sturdy. This is not going anywhere as you can very well see. So now I have this idea to put another camera on it. So I'm gonna put this camera that I'm actually vlogging on it on top of this one. And I need to find a way to show you how this whole thing is going to look. So just give me a second. Okay, so now if I want to put that camera on this camera, I'm gonna need this like cold shoe adapter that's gonna go here and then I need to secure it so that camera is not gonna go anywhere. So this should go here and we're going to put the left mic down here. Let me like close the legs over here. Okay, so this is how this monstrosity is looking with the 24 to 70 A7 III, a cage, ZV-1, and everything else on this like ball head. And trust me, this is not, as you can very well see, this is not going anywhere. So if you want to vlog with something like this, you can. Okay, so now that we are back to a normal type of shot, I just want to show you one more thing that I talked about aside as well. Is the fact that if you're going to put the camera on the tripod and you're not going to like fully secure it with this tightening knob that is down here, what's going to happen with the camera? As you can very well see, nothing is going to happen with the camera because the camera is not going anywhere. That's because, like I showed you outside as well, this quick release plate has those two pins that is stopping the camera to fall down from the tripod. And that's pretty, pretty cool. This feature is really nice because usually you're not getting this type of feature in this kind of like mini tripods and for the price that you're paying on this. And now about the price, because I never mentioned the price in this whole video, the fact that you're paying just $70 on this thing for all the features that you get, that's pretty crazy to me. I understand that $70 is still a lot for a mini tripod, but again, there are other options on the market that are way more than $70. So $70 for me, this is the best mini vlogging tripod that you can get right now. now let's talk about the cons of this tripod. I don't really see any, but I would like to mention something. This quick release plate that comes with the tripod is not compatible with the Peak Design plate or another kind of plate that you're using on your like backpack when you're out and about. I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, so this is the camera clip that I'm having on my backpack over here and the quick release that is not compatible with this. But that sounds more like a me problem. But I just wanted to mention that because I would have loved to have it like compatible with this. So I'm not gonna change the plates all the time when I'm going out. But yeah. You can't have everything in life, so it is what it is. Okay, so that being said, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. You have a button down below. And if you want to ask me more things about this tripod, you can do that in the comment section down below. So yeah, that's everything for today. Stefan over and out.